Hello, my beautiful style ladies. It's me, Stephanie Michelle, and I am back with another style tip for you. As you can see, I'm standing next to my model, Linda. Don't worry. We're trying to get her head together. All right. Now, she is ready for fall in her fall midi simple dress, which is something that you can purchase on your own too. It's very simple, very easy, and it's transitional. Transitional means you can put it with many different things and create a completely different look. It's easy to pack, easy to wear, easy to manipulate. So let me show you some of those trips, tips right now. Very first thing, I'm gonna style it. Style number one is with an oversized scarf. Now I've gone ahead and pre um, folded this scarf, but it is a five by five scarf, five by five feet by five feet scarf that I went tip to tip and folded and made it into a triangle like this. Now I'm gonna take it and put it right on the shoulder and just see how it hangs right there. And I'm gonna take middle to middle and I'm gonna create a drop knot. All a drop knot is is just one tie and it just falls. The choice of color is totally up to you. But all you're gonna do is tie that on the side and look how pretty that is. You're gonna add a little bit of an accessory. In this case, I'm using a nice necklace with some embellishment. But this is where you can also get creative. Put that right over the top. And there you go. This is a cute fall dress that you can wear on your own. Very simple. If you don't wanna keep the scarf off, you can take that off. So, so far you have two looks with the same dress. The first way is just plain. The second is with a little bit of jewelry and a scarf. Now, let's go on to another look. Another easy look is a long cardigan. Long open cardigan, very classy, very timeless, and it transitions from season to season very well. In this case, now this is look three. This is the exact same dress with an open cardigan. But to make the fourth look, you can change it up just a little bit by adding a bit of flair with a belt. The belt is gonna give you a bit more structure. And if you're someone who likes to accentuate your waist or to create a waist, you do that with a belt. This particular belt is nice because it has an embellishment, which is a nice little knot already made in the front. So you, you don't have to do much. So go right across the back. Put it where you would like for your waist. And there you go. So you've created another look with this open cardigan, the jewelry, the belt, and the same fall transitional dress. But let's take it one step further. Same dress. Remove the cardigan. And let's add a different style of belt to the exact same dress. This belt is a bit wider because you're not going to embellish this with anything else. So you want to create some dimensions. You want to create um, symmetry. So this belt is really nice. It's a much wider belt. And here you go. You can use a patent leather belt. You can use a colored belt. Really up to you. But there you go. So like I said, it's the same dress. We'll just leave that there. It's the same dress, but you've embellished it in different ways. You've customized it. You've transitioned this dress to make it your own. Now we're going to still keep going to another look. We're going to keep it moving. These are some of my all-time favorites. So I am wearing an oversized long version of this as we speak, and it's a capelet. It's my answer to 
it's an alternative to a blazer actually. So here you are. You can see she has that on. Look how classy she looks with that on right there. Absolutely love that. You can wear this with jeans. You can wear it with pants, slacks. I even wear it with shorts and boots. Yes, shorts and boots. It looks really good. But here you go. Here you go. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep right on going. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So you see me showing you a lot of pieces with black. It's fall. Mix in fall colors. Mix them together. Do some solids. Do some animal print. Do some bright tones in here with some of your fall tones. Okay? But here's one you probably weren't expecting. A soft, muted tone. But the thing is, you want to make sure that the colors are cohesive. If it's too off, it's a little bit too jarring and it's taken away from what you're actually trying to do. Look at that. How cute is that color combination right there? Fall ready. This is not too heavy. It's not too light. You can add your own type of shoe or boot or ankle boot and it's super cute. I'm not done. We're going to keep going. Now, yes, this is a dress. And you're probably wondering what could possibly go next. Well, let me show you. Sometimes you have the perfect dress and it has the perfect color for a top that you may potentially want, but you don't have that top. We'll do it with the dress. Take your favorite skirt or a fall ready skirt Put it right over the dress, right over the dress. No, I'm not leaving it. I'm not going to poke it out at the bottom, but you can. I'm going to pull this up and pull it right up. In this case, I'm using a very lightweight skirt because it's fall, so we're not trying to layer you too much. But there you have a shirt that goes along with that. But I'm taking it a step further and I'm giving it all the embellishments. All of the embellishments right here. All right. We're still going. We are still going. Here's the great thing about fall layers that's definitely something you want to do this fall you want to dress in layers you don't know what the weather is going to give you you want to be prepared for it you want to stay safe you want to stay warm when you need it you want to stay stylish but dressing in layers will allow you to peel off when you need and put things back on as needed so here we are with the final look notice it's the exact same dress the same dress, the exact same dress, same piece of jewelry, but we've transitioned this dress from work to day to night to having fun, but you can do so much with a transitional fall dress. The key is, number one, make it to where it's lightweight or midweight. Fall tones, which are a little bit deeper than your summer tones, but not as deep as your winter tones. Make it transitional so you can put it up underneath other items so you can layer, which is very key for fall. And with that, we're just going to add the one fun item that you need to transition your fall pieces in to just create the finished look. A pair of ankle boots. This pair of ankle boots has a really fun heel. This is a tortoise shell heel. Really pretty. Now, many of us have different ankle sizes, so it's really important that you find a boot that works best with your legs. The key is you want to accentuate those legs, okay? You can wear them under pants. You can wear them with leggings. You can wear them with your dresses. You can wear them with your suits. Looks really good, and you are fall ready and weather ready. All right, you guys, I want to say thank you for joining me for another style tip with me, Stephanie Michelle, Coach of Style. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, and have some more conversations, join me on Facebook at coachofstyle.com on Facebook, and we can always get together. Now, with that, 
get ready for fall.